And uh, Big John? I agree. That's right. A <laughs> lot more fun on a big, big boat out on the water, right? That's it, man. All right. Well, Big John, we've got uh, some stuff to talk about here with uh, zebra mussels. Drew's trying to get uh, uh, Bruce Highsmith on the line with us. Hey, you know, I thought that we could play Jeopardy with uh, using zebra mussels. How do you do that? Well, if the answer is zebra mussels, then the question, Alex, would be, what do zebras get when they do steroids? <laughs> <laughs> Intelligent talk. Intelligent talk. Intelligent dude. talk. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. No, not not between five and six. That's when intelligence takes a break. <laughs> Everybody has to have a break. Crazy fool. But uh, no, Big uh, John. Drew's trying to get uh, Bruce Highsmith. He's the yeah. uh, biologist there with the fisheries department and working with the Texas Parks and Wildlife. And we've talked about this for how many years now, I'm trying to warn people, get ready, you know, watch out. Here's what we got to do to prevent it. And, you know, luckily it's taken this long for it to get down here, but it's here. Yeah, man, it's here. And, uh, you know, that's uh, – I'm just working here with Drew. <laughs> Howdy, folks. But uh, there's Drew. So, anyway, no, man, it's uh, – John, what's been going on? Is these zebra mussels, they came in, you know, a long time. I don't know. Am I just, I totally didn't hear what you said, so. Well, that's okay. You know, it's not our normal conversations when we're on the phone with each other. <laughs> you don't hear what I have to say. But the listeners heard, and that's what matters. No, I just said that we've been talking about this for, you know, several years now. And, you know, they finally made their way down here. And, unfortunately, now everybody in our part of the country is going to get to see just how much trouble these little guys, can, you know, they can cause. Yeah, and I, I uh, you know, they are confirmed there in Lake Texoma. Lake Texoma, we finally have them here in our Texas lakes. And, you know, John, Lake Texoma with the uh, the water department, uh, I forget their full name, the North Texas Municipal Water Supply, whatever it is. Yeah, we've had them on before. It's a big name. You know, they, uh, they've got that pump station there on Lake Texoma that pumps water out of Lake Texoma to Lake Lebon. Uh, it actually goes into Sister Grove Creek. And then from Sister Grove Creek, it flows down into Lake Lebon. And this is to provide, you know, drinking water, all that kind of stuff for the uh, people of Plano and all the surrounding areas around there. Well, just down from that pump station drop off there in Sister Grove Creek, Mm -hmm. they found three adult size zebra mussels on a rock. Uh, it was confirmed. They did their test uh, back two or three weeks ago on Lake Levon. They went out there and were looking for the larva, the little guys that have been spawned from the adult zebra mm-hmm. mussels, and they flow through the water, and, and uh, the test came back negative. They didn't find any. But, you know, that really doesn't mean anything. You know what I mean? It could be, uh, you know, where they looked was not in the right flow and of the current of the lake and so on and so forth. I mean... There, there's a, you know, they're, they're, they still could be there. Yeah, it, this is something they're going to have to, you know, be diligent and watch over the next several months, you know, and monitor to, like you said, to make sure that you know, they're getting the right sample from the right spot and catching these guys before they, you know, get started. 